Back inside Budweiser Gardens, a place where we haven't been for a game that meant something in the standings for a long time, since March of 2020. Take a look. This building is now just shy of its 19th birthday, and the number of memories that have been created right here, right here in this corner, when the Knights won the Memorial Cup in 2005, this, this is where the celebration started. This was also a different kind of pile. Remember earlier in that playoff run, there was a big pile up of players and all of a sudden Corey Perry and Mike Richards made their way out to center ice. Yeah, that's where this happened. And then over here, this over here is where when the delayed penalty call that everybody talks about against the Belleville Bulls, when that began, the penalty happened way down there, but the puck quickly came here and the Knights started to work their way around and they went a minute and 40 seconds controlling the puck before finally scoring a goal on that delayed penalty call. Now over here of course we have the penalty boxes. In other arenas in the past they've had quite a workout. Here hockey's changed a bit. This is a pretty quiet spot as a matter of fact. Remember that delayed penalty call? This is where Rob Shrimp was, right here, top of the left circle when Dylan Hunter fed him a pass and he fired the puck into the Belleville Bulls net to score that goal for the London Knights. A lot of famous goals have been scored in this end of the ice, as a matter of fact, because if we go right here, London Knights, Ramuski Oceanic, this is where Danny Fritchie was when he snapped the puck through the legs of Cedric Desjardins of Ramuski and started off what would be a 4-0 win by the London Knights. This is where he was, right along the boards, right tight to the net. Now, when we're talking about famous goals, how famous does the Bo Horvat goal get in 2013? Here we are, behind the net. Seth Griffith was on that post, Bo Horvat was on this post, and what do you know, the puck came to Bo Horvat and he took a swipe at it, it rolled along the goal line, enough that you could just see a little bit of ice, and that ended up being reviewed and checked and checked, and as the fans went goal, 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 Kendrick Nicholson pointed to center ice, and it was a goal, and what do you know, the London Knights were OHL champions, happened right there. Right here is a spot of another famous London Knights school. Mark Mathot, in the first game of the Memorial Cup in 2005, was almost squeezed right against the boards and flipped a shot at the net, and it took off, went right top corner, and started off the scoring in what is still considered to be the best game ever played in this building. Now here, of course, we have the benches, the visitors' bench, and then the London Knights' bench. This is where Dale Hunter has made countless adjustments in the game. Hundreds of victories have started right here. And this is also a place where Max Domi and Bo Horvat were sitting side by side and where the game was not going well for the Knights. They were down 3-0. It was the third period. And Max Domi said to Bo, well, look around. There's 9,000 people here. They didn't come here to see us lose 3 nothing. we got to change that. And the Knights went out and scored. They scored again. They tied the game, and they won it in overtime. That happened right there. And then, as a final spot, a big thank you to the crowd always comes from this one because this is where Corey Perry, in that game that we were talking about, the best game perhaps ever played here at Budweiser Gardens, this is where Corey Perry was skating down the wing in overtime in that game against Ramuski to open the 2005 Memorial Cup. And the fans kept yelling, two, two, because trailing on the play was none other than Mark Mathot. He crossed the blue line, took a pass from Corey Perry, and scored the game-winning goal. And the Knights ultimately went on to win the Memorial Cup. Celebrations, they always happen here. 2012 and 2013 and the 2005 OHL Championship right here in this zone. And we'll see when the next celebration comes for the London Knights. A walk around the outside of the glass. All the moments that have been built so far. And now we get a whole new season to make a whole new set of moments.